Good morning. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Power Up 365. Welcome to Power Up 365. It is early in the morning and it is dark and it is dark. Have you ever felt that it is dark, you lost, you don't know what to do and the results are just not showing. The results are just not showing and then someone puts on the lights. Someone puts on the lights and then you see clearly. So how does that work? L recently, um, I sent you guys a, a, a Power Up 365 from Rome the other day and I was telling you guys how great it was and everything was good. And what happened is as I got back to South Africa, I had a reality check. I had a reality check and I got onto the scale. I got onto the scale and it was a crazy, crazy result. Crazy result. And in that moment, I was... I was disappointed. I was disappointed in myself. I was disappointed in uh, when I read my vision and my goals. Um, that result doesn't reflect on what I want to do, who I want to be, what I want to achieve. That is not what I want. And I had to reassess what's going on with myself, with my health again, and that. And I've I've always had a challenge with weight since since young. Um, I've always had to go to gym and make an effort because it just does not come naturally it's not a, and it's not an area of my life um weight management or goals of health and that being fit that just comes naturally i've had to work on it very hard and um i do these power up 365s i go to gym every morning and um when i was away i hadn't gone to gym for 10 days 10 days I hadn't gone to gym and it's it's just I just love coming to gym to power up my mind, to clear my mind, to get it right. And this was happening. But I don't believe that that was the only cause on why my results are not showing. Now, where are your results in the areas of your life? Remember, I always speak there are areas of your life. And this whole thing about balance of life, that, that's a myth. There are areas of your life that you've got to keep on focusing. And those areas of your life, they need constant, constant watch, constant improvement. And one of those is health, okay? Another one is emotional strength. Are you, are you looking at your emotions all the time? Are you looking at your health? You know, it doesn't matter how successful you're going to be, whatever your definition of success is, okay? Whatever your definition of success is, if you're not looking after your health, you've got to make health a focus. You've got to make health an area of fulfillment, okay? So what was happening to myself is it was not, it was not going right in that area. So now I need, to, I need to assess myself. I need to make a decision. And this happens in all areas. This happens in business. This happens in your financial position. This happens in your relationships. This happens all the time that you've got to come back and assess the situation. And the one thing you've got to always assess, that is one thing that came so clear to me, so clear to me yesterday was, what is my health goals? What is my health goals? When have I been the best in my health? Is when I made a goal that I wanted to climb Kilimanjaro. I wanted to climb Kilimanjaro. I was up every single morning. I was timing myself. I was measuring my kilometers. I had a goal. I knew I had a program. I had a coach. I had a mentor. And that was the goal that I was going through. And my health got stronger. Every single day I got stronger. My mind got stronger. I had a goal. So I asked myself, what was my goal that I I'm going for in my health and and truthfully I didn't have one now there's been always a goal that I wanted to do I've always wanted to finish Ironman it's something um, I wanted to do I've registered before for Ironman I got injured I had to go for an operation not only did I not get to Ironman not only did I not finish my training I hurt myself in the training for Ironman so how well, what a failure is that okay what a failure is that and since that what has been holding you've been holding yourself back and so i said to myself i need another goal and in that moment in that moment when i said listen i need another goal so johnny let's go 
and do Iron Man. So the first thing I looked at, I said, when is Iron Man? Iron Man um, is in January 20, uh, 2020. Okay. Will I be prepared? Well, is six months enough to be prepared? Maybe I must do it over two years, train for it. But immediately, this is my message to you. Immediately when there was a goal, my mindset changed. My mindset said, as soon as I went to my next meal, I did not eat whatever I want to. I did. I was looking at hydration. I was looking at water because now I had a goal. Do I know exactly how I'm going to achieve that goal? No, I do not know. So immediately I have to get a coach, a mentor. Um, I need to get a program. I need to, but I know I have to eat right. I know I have to be up. It's up. Um, it's dark now. I'm up. I've been up since five o'clock this morning to come to gym to train. Um, that's now I'm on a different mindset because I have a goal. John Maxwell said, you know what, achieving the goal is not as important as the journey towards the goal. And this is what I've just realized uh, more than anything before is the journey is the change of mindset when it comes to health. It's when you have a health goal, when you, you we all need a health goal. We all need some race that we're going to achieve or something that we're going to do within our health. We need to measure ourselves. Are we getting better? Are we eating better? Immediately, I've got a program on what I'm going to eat. How much calories did I eat yesterday? And and I have been doing that. This is my point to you. I have been always doing that, coming to gym and all that every single morning, but I have not been doing it at the level that I need to do it now because now I've set a goal to go and do Ironman. Now, what happened when I set a goal? I, I was at the gym and I was like nearly dying yesterday and I was, I was cycling and I was sweating and all that. And um, I told someone, said to me, man, what's going on with you? And I told someone that this is what I want to do. The response was, but Johnny, did you not try that again? Did you not try that before? Immediately, what happens when you get that response? And let me guarantee you, when you go for a goal, something bigger than your current circumstances, when you for, go for a goal that is out there that is nearly difficult to to achieve i mean i can't even fathom running swimming and all that in ironman it's 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 beyond my current understanding to do that right it's beyond my current understanding so this is why i need to protect my goals i need to believe in my goals because i had that goal before and most times when you have a goal that is so outrageous You've done it, you've tried it before, and you have failed, failed. Meanwhile, that's just preparation for you to learn to get to the next step. And that's exactly what experienced to me yesterday. Now, I'm telling you this because I believe these, this, this example that I've been going over in the last few hours, last few days, um, you're getting it every single day. What, what I just went through in setting up a goal, getting the results that you're looking and getting shocked with your current results uh, is happening all the time in areas of your life, be it your relationship, be it your finance, be it your business, be it your business partners. All the time there are things happening in your life that you need to change, but you don't have a goal. You don't have a goal. And when you, you do have a goal, your goal is, there is no accountability in that goal. There is no accountability in that goal. And that's why, that's why you do not get improvement in the goal. That's why you do not get uh, improvement in that area of fulfillment. So guys, it's Monday morning, the greatest day of the week. This is Johnny Liardis, Power Up 365. I'm here to ask you on this Monday, what is your goal? What is your goal? What are you going for? Are you just getting up? Are you just doing the same thing you always did? You're not going to get the results you want. Get up, go after the goals that you have set yourself and make sure those goals are outrageous. Outrageous. When you tell someone your goal, they must say, are you bloody mad? How are you ever going to achieve it? And your answer might be, I don't know, but that's my goal today. And that's how you're going to live an extraordinary life. Have a great, great week. This is John Eliadis, Power Up 365, your success strategist. And I will see you at the top. Cheers, bye.